And through various jobs along my lifetime, I've worked at uh, office supply places before the big uh, staples and um, uh, office max and all that stuff. Before all that came to be, I was a delivery driver for Southern Office Suppliers for like six years. And they went bankrupt. And then... Uh, um, other menial jobs. I, then I got the job at uh, Bridgestone Firestone in 92 and I've been there ever since. So I've got my 25th anniversary there just this past November and I plan to retire in little less than three years. I have a wife, a daughter, a son-in-law and a granddaughter and I also have another granddaughter from a previous relationship daughter and granddaughter that live in uh, Springfield Illinois well Dave how long have you been riding motorcycles well uh, I tried to uh, ride a motorcycle back when I was 16 years old my brother tried to teach me how to ride on a uh, old football field and I dropped that thing so much I just decided to give up. So from 16 to 46, I guess it's been, started and uh, I got back in it primarily for economic reasons. And so uh, the, the truck was just eating me out of house and home as far as gas goes. That's when it first hit $3 a gallon. So uh, I decided to uh, get something else. And make a long story short, my wife saw an article about scooters. Well, first thing you think of when you hear the word scooter is either Roman Holiday, Toad on American Graffiti, or a Shriner running around there on a mini bike in a circus. But uh, doing a lot of research, they have maxi scooters like this one. I took the MSF test, I bought the black one out from one of my coaches, and then uh, got Gandalf here, and I've been riding ever since. Total on both bikes, I'd say I've got uh, over 50,000 miles as far as mileage, you know, miles go. And let's see, I've been living in Smyrna since 1990, so I've been there 28 years, going on 28 years. And just a, just a simple man, really. No drama, no hubbub, or, you know, that's why I don't post every week. Or if I have something to post about, I'll post it. And if I don't, I won't. I don't monetize or anything like that, like a lot of uh, motor vloggers do, which is fine. I mean, if they want to do that, that's fine. But uh, I just do this for a hobby. I like doing it. I've met met many many great people through this media of um, motor vlogging great friends long life friends that I've met through motor vlogging so now I'm just sticking it out waiting for retirement and when I do that then I'll have the freedom to you know, take a couple of road trips a year, and of course it may just be trailering the scoot, but that's okay too. And I am really looking forward to retirement. So, uh, that's about it. Um, I was one of the uh, first motor vloggers. I started when uh, M13, Ward F13, and uh, Wilson Rider 69 and um, uh, 88 Hawaii, uh, Suburban Rider, all those people that started out uh, years and years ago. I've been doing this for, uh, let's see, started in uh, 2007, so 10, going on uh, 11 years. It'll be 11 years in uh, February. Next month, it'll be 11 years I've been on YouTube. Technology sure has changed from the old Kodak V570 to the Vado HD to the Replay XD, the Tachyon, um, 
and now the uh, Ceno 10C. I never did uh, get it to GoPros, but uh, I did what I could do for what means I had to do with, so that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> So that's it. Uh, I guess I've bored you good people enough, so we'll just call this one a wrap. This is a Smyrna Cowboy here en route from Murfreesboro to Smyrna. Oh, wait, just a second. Three, two, one, zero. In Smyrna, Tennessee, wishing you and yours a good day. And until next time, adios.